Whoa, look at you. Think I'm overdressed? Oh, no, but don't ask me. You know, I, I think you're overdressed if you're uh, wearing perfume. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, for the TV show. No, you look great. I don't understand why you have to do the TV show in the first place, but you look great. Network called and asked me to. Yeah, but you could have said no. And I wish you had. I don't think it can be helping you to tell this horrible story over and over again. It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, why not take a break from this and let your mind drift onto something more positive? Life goes on. You don't deny what happens to you, even though it might scare you. You get above it. You get beyond it. And this is a start for me in that direction. And I have to go, otherwise I want to be late. Darling, I'm not asking you to deny this, you understand? It's just I don't think it's going to be as easy as you imagine to answer questions about this on television. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I said it was going to be important. And, and you know, there's another reason I'm doing this. It's because TV glosses over issues. They don't show things because they think that viewers are going to be uncomfortable. Well, that this is something I think that they should see. Because it's important. Otherwise, it's just going to be trivialized well I doubt they would trivialize something like this yeah. you want to know who's doing this show with me who an actress who played a rape victim and her co-star who's the rapist I mean what kind of reality is that well that's weird yeah well somebody's got to cut through it somebody has to take responsibility so men like Critter aren't out on the street somebody has to realize that this issue has an impact that should reach people's consciousness. You have to please understand that I have to do this. Yeah, there's just another angle that's worrying me right now. What? Well, whether or not Critter actually did this. You know, I went over the reports this morning, and aside from the fact that he threatened you, and he's been in trouble with the law in the past, there's really nothing to lay this at his feet. And of course, if he didn't do it, Whoever did is still at large. What do we do if that's the case? I'll turn this town over piece by piece if I have to. I promise you I'll find the guy. I just think it would be a good idea for you to stay out of the limelight for the time being, you know. G give me a chance, just, just give it a little bit of time. What does that involve, staying out of the limelight? Well, ducking interviews, especially, uh on-camera interviews like this one, maybe not taking so many phone calls, just generally keeping a lower profile for a while. Hide? You want me to hide? Well, I think it would be preferable to putting yourself in jeopardy again, don't no. you? No, I don't think so. No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> this is an even better reason for me to do this show. Let him see me. Let him see that I'm not going to stand back and just, just take it. And he can't go out there and do this a second time. Okay, hit the wrong nerve. What, don't you think I'm right? I don't know. I do. I am not about ready to sit by if the man who raped me is out there running around and not do anything about it. I'm going to go and do interviews. I'm going to go into television stations. I'm going to stand on the street corner if I have to. The idea just scares me a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know why. Well, I'm not afraid. Besides, I have you with me. Bet on that.
Thanks. How are you doing? You feeling okay? Yeah. You want something to drink? No. I'm all right. Do I have a few minutes before I have to be out there? Sure. Eric is talking to Tom and April now. Okay. Who are Tom and April? Oh, those are those two actors I was telling you about. Tom Winthrop, uh, April Cummings. They're oh. known as Link and Lori lovers on General <sighs> Clinic. Yeah, right. Didn't you say they... Didn't he rape her on that show? Yeah, he did. Guess he overcame it. They fell in love. Only on the screen. Off the air, they hate each other. <laughs> Magic of television, huh? Yeah. You know, this is exactly what I was talking about. I mean, this is how they depict what it's like to really be raped. I, I mean, what kind of reality is that? Does that make any sense to you? No, that's sick. That's sick. You know, you can still change your mind about doing this. If you're feeling uncomfortable, you can just tell these people to stuff it. You don't need this. Yes, I do. Look, I, I think I should go out and meet some of these people. Um, will you stay in here and watch the monitor? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, well, pay attention. I'll ask you questions when I get back. Great. I really wish you would change your mind about this, you know? I'll be all right. Really. Okay. I do not want to be introduced as Link and Laurie. I've got a real name. And nobody in America knows it. That has more to do with your acting than being introduced. Don't start with me, April. I'm telling you the truth. You're... Look, you're just so convincing in the part. People believe you are the part I don't now now children your producer very specifically told me he wanted to plug the show and your characters that's right but he won't like it if you argue or if I tell her you argue you'd better not excuse me uh, we're a little busy right now I'm, I mean Castillo I was supposed to be on the show I oh, think I apologize Hi. of course Mrs. Castillo Eric Morgan Eric and I'd like you to meet Lincoln Laurie stars of General Clinic Tom Winthrop it's just great to meet you April Cummings, do you watch our show? I've seen it. Number one rated show in America. Well, if you'll uh, take your seats, I guess we're about ready to start. Ethan, I would like you right here. Tom, over there. April, if you will. I will be in my usual godlike position so I can keep an eye on all of you. And uh, I guess that's it. Relax for a minute. I'll be back to tell you when we start. Eric told us about what happened to you. Ooh. Rotten luck. I guess I really hadn't thought of it that way. Thanks. I know exactly what you're going through, Eden. I mean, we've been doing this storyline for two weeks, and I had to do mountains, mountains of research on rape, you know, to sort of prepare myself for the role. I'm, I'm sorry to say, I didn't really get a chance to read about your actual situation, but in a way... You know, we've shared a common event. I think that makes us like sisters, doesn't it? In a broad sense, I guess so. Actually, I I was really looking forward to meeting you. I told all my friends you were going to be here today. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, kind of selfish, really. But I was hoping you could give me some pointers on how to make my performance more authentic, you know? You might try giving up cue cards. That ought to help. You're the one that goes up on lines every ten seconds. Just a retake. A anyway, any pointers, you know, tips? If you, if you want to get together after the show, maybe we can compare notes. Would you, would you like to do that? I mean, if you ever want to come down to the studio one day, watch us work. I can get you on set like that. Would you like to tell me why you refused to see me at my office? I've had to track you all over this damn town. I wasn't about to let my wife come to do this interview by herself. No, what's so important that couldn't wait? Or before your wife goes on national television and says something to implicate our suspect, you better know what the forensics report turned up. What? You found hair strands in your house, and they don't match critters. Now, do you think we're possibly accusing the wrong guy? So what the hell are you going to do about this, Victor? Are you going to come to me and make reports like this? Are you going to get out there and find the guy who did this, whoever he is? 